Hello everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now, um, welcome to our lecture 6. Um, we're going to learn today. Sorry. Okay, so we'll see um, the big picture of air distribution and the principles that involve and also we'll see the types of uh, air distribution devices and also uh, it will affect the air temperature inside the conditioned space the main purpose to study the air distribution so that we can design a proper uh, air distribution system for a space and of course for some more human comfort as we all know and I already mentioned in my previous lecture air velocity is a factor that affects the more human comfort um, that's why air motion, air temperature and humidity uh, are very essential or important uh, so that the occupants are comfortable and normally the area with air velocity that is um, that has about 20 feet per minute or equals to 0 0.1 or 1 uh, 0 0.1016 meter per second um, that we consider it as um, stagnant area or dead zone that means the air velocity is, uh, we can say, um, it's very low that no air movement inside the space. Alright, let's see the principles of uh, space air distribution. Um, there are several um, you can see uh, principles that uh, has to be obeyed uh, so that we have a good air distribution, uh, space air distribution. First, we're going to take a look at um, the terms and the standard values that we need to hold, the air patterns and also the location that affects the space air distribution. Okay, we always mention about occupied zone, occupied zone, but what is actually an occupied zone? Actually, the occupied zone is a room, the volume in the room that is bounded by a vertical distance, um, one feet, or one feet is equal to 0 0.3 meter above the floor to an elevation of six feet or in meter is 1.5 to 1.8 meter and horizontal from 1 feet inside each wall here is 1 feet here is 1 feet and here is about 6, uh, six feet 6 feet and here is about 1 feet also so this is actually the occupied zone. All right. Um, uh, in previous lecture, I already told you about the suitable room temperature. The room temperature is about twenty-four degrees Celsius to twenty-six degrees Celsius for um, human comfort standard and the velocity is about 1.2 to 1.8 meter per second and the relative humidity is about 30 to 60 degrees as uh, sorry 30, 30 to 60 percent uh, this is the zone that I showed you in previous lecture on the psychometric chart 
Draft. What is draft? Draft is the air movement that has higher velocity than the standard, which is 1.2 to 1.8 meter per second of um, the velocity of air. This means whenever you have air movement more than 1.2 or uh, to 1.8 is more than 1.8 then you can consider uh, the velocity as uh, draft velocity the air movement can be called draft what is supply air? supply air is the conditioned air that is already treated that introduced into the room What is design temperature? Design temperature is the temperature of living air from the room. And throw. Throw is a distance from supply air device before reaching relatively low velocity. That means it's already stable. For example, here is the supply. Then the device throw, throw the air. And you can see the distance from here to here is actually the throw. And after this distance, then the, uh, the air becomes slower. And it reaches the, uh, we can call a stable veloc uh, velocity. What is air jet? A jet is an airstream that is discharged from an outlet with a significant higher air velocity than that of surrounding air. True is the distance, and a jet is the air that is true from the outlet. That is the difference. What about spread? What is spread? Spread is the flow stream, the expansion of flow stream. For example, this is the outlet and uh, the air is throat, the air jet becomes air jet and the expansion of the stream. Here, the outlet, we have small uh, area of air throat and after a certain time, the the far, the, the more far uh, the air is true, then more spread it is. So this line actually represents the spread of the flow stream. While the boundaries of the air stream, or we can call also air jet, just now that I mentioned is the envelope of airstream so the dot dot the dots that you can see here um, is the boundary of the spread and we can call it as envelope of agent terminal velocity is actually the velocity at the end of the spread here is about here. If you can measure the velocity here, and it, this is the terminal velocity. After this velocity, then um, the airstream becomes stagnant, no more slower than the terminal velocity. Okay. And you have to know the air behavior in a space in order to select and also locate the air supply devices properly and so that um, you can adjust the device. For example, when the temperature of a supply is uh, lower than the temperature of the written air, then the air will drop down indoors. For example, in the summer, this uh, this is the case of the um, 
country with uh, winter and summer. When the tea supply is higher than the tea return, the temperature return, the air will rise up indoors as in the winter. This is quite a common sense. The tea supply is higher than tea return. That means the tea supply is hotter than the temperature of the return air. Means um, it is suitable to locate the supply device near the floor. And for the case of A, uh, that means the tea supply is colder than the temperature of return air. Then um, this means uh, we need cooling and the cooling device should be placed uh, higher on the wall side or maybe ceiling so that the air will drop down onto the floor or into the occupied zone and here it is mentioned that it is not recommended to install a supply device parallel to or near the ceiling because it will hug the ceiling. There's surface effect. If your aircon is installed too near to the ceiling, then the um, air jet is not um, used to cool uh, the, the space, but instead the air, air that is true will hug the ceiling so, and so your room or your space will not be cool. What about the location? The location of your aircon or other air distribution devices, heater for example, it is important to consider the location so that you will achieve a good air distribution. High wall, as I mentioned before, is a good location for cooling because as we know the cooling, the air of cold air will drop down naturally and adequate air circulation throughout the occupied zone is uh, good with the high wall location. All right, the ceiling. Um, as I mentioned before, we have um, air distribution device like um, cassettes, aircon uh, with cassette type. It is um, for cooling, and ceiling is also a good location for cooling devices because the air will drop down into the occupied zone. What about low wall? Low wall, for example, we can see some space or some buildings we place the heater um, direct onto the floor if they have space under the floor or they can also place their heater um, under the window. It is uh, that we call low wall because it is low on the wall. This is um, suitable for heating because the the air will rise up. The heat, the heated air will rise up into uh, into the occupied zone. And for the floor or sill. This is, um, yeah, just uh, like I mentioned before, is very good for heating. Alright, so um, let's see the types of specific air distribution devices. Um, these devices, the purpose of these devices is to create the proper air distribution in the conditioned space. 
we can call the space as uh, distribution devices as air supply devices. There are four types of air supply devices. For example, we can see the grills and registers for supply and ceiling diffusers, slot diffuser and also the plenum ceiling. Alright, this is the grills. As normally, um, you can see um, uh, for return or maybe sometime also for supply. It is actually a frame and it is fixed. But for supply, normally we have um, adjustable parallel bars. Alright, I think that's all for the lecture 6. See you in the next lectures, uh, in the next lecture, lecture 7. Stay safe and stay at home, guys. Bye.